woods with a federal park. But folks who live near that proposed park aren't as enthusiastic about the idea. NBC's Bob Dotson shared the story this morning on the Today Show. This passes for rush hour in the North Main Woods. Roxanne Quimby's commute takes her over 10,000 lakes, scattered like a broken mirror, reflecting the full blaze of the sun. Very popular hiking spot. She is looking to buy some of the most remote land in America. How much of your personal fortune are you willing to spend? Every penny of it. All of it, certainly. Quimby already owns more of northern Maine than most, 9,000 acres. And she wants to give it all to us. This is the most wonderful investment I could make. This is an investment in the future. This is an investment in the earth. She and some of her friends are quietly bargaining for three million acres around Baxter State Park, hoping one day to donate them for a new national park. So far, Quimby has spent about three million dollars of her own money, but she doesn't have enough to buy all the land in the proposed park. That could run as much as one billion dollars. Mainly, the parcel she picks block developers. If I didn't buy this and take it off the market, somebody would come along and develop this property. It's just so beautiful. Quimby is an unlikely benefactor. Twenty years ago, she was an out-of-work waitress, raising two kids in a backwoods cabin, selling candles at craft shows. Now she is the founder and owner of Burt's Bees, a cosmetics company that makes $32 million a year. I felt that I needed to do more than just have my organic garden and haul water and firewood. Recent polls show that a majority of the people in Maine favor the proposed national park. But many who depend on the forest for a living, perhaps as many as 30,000, they're outraged. Gene Conlog, the city manager of Millinocket, Maine, says 90% of the people near the proposed park work in lumber-related businesses and would have to move. We're disposable people. Just like garbage, we can move from one place to another and dispose of it will. Nobody's ending up on the trash heap here. There's still 7 million acres available for industrial logging extraction. But some fear a park the size of Connecticut in the middle of the forest would essentially shut down the $5 billion a year timber business, Maine's largest industry leaving only part-time, low-paying service jobs. We employ between 48 and 50 people. And, uh, I don't think they, don't, they all want to be made. State officials estimate they would have to attract more than 11 million visitors to offset the loss in the lumber business, nearly three times the number they have now. You'd think Debbie Pollard, who owns a lodge, would be all for that, but... If you have 11 million people come here, you're going to have trash, and you're going to have trampled... Wildlife, it, I think it would be devastating to the area. Something more than money is in play here. The people who live in Maine's North Woods have always been able to hike and fish where they please, even on private land. That wouldn't happen in a national park. Talking about the Maine North Woods, a new park, yes or no, your commentary. Some worry that Quimby and her friends will change 400 years of Maine's tradition. These people are going to be culture snatchers. <laughs> Creating small town life to open the park for big city people to enjoy. Even Quimby herself admits she's doing this for the people in places like Boston and New York. The real beneficiaries of the park are people who are living in the crowded northeast corridor of this country. But Maine Senator Susan Collins and the state's entire congressional delegation say the people of Maine don't need the federal government to preserve their land. Mainers are good and careful stewards of our forests. We care very much about their long-term viability, and we are careful in our use of our forests. Without the support of the state's leadership in Congress, a national park is unlikely. Even so, Quimby continues to put her money where her dreams are. She is negotiating to buy another 6,000 acres and is searching for more. I love the land up here, and I, too, want to be able to take my children and grandchildren on a hike in uh, northern Maine. And I don't believe that that's going to be available unless we create some kind of preserve. In this wilderness, where dollars may help dreams come true. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Millinocket, Maine. Other news today, if you're looking for a good fare to fly from...